Hello everyone and thank you so much for coming by the channel. I appreciate it. It has been a while since I have done a book journal video so I thought I would review today what I am using for my 2022 book journal. As you may remember last year I used the Hobonichi Cousin, the daily pages in that for my book journal but this year I am using a Hobonichi Weeks. The only use of this Hobonichi Weeks is as a book journal. So it is it is devoted <laughs> like I am. <laughs> so let's just go ahead and, and flip through here and, and see what we can see. Um, this is, by the way, this is the Hobonichi Peach Weeks, although it looks pink, that's for sure. And I do have the official Hobonichi cover on here. And I just covered up a few pages with uh, construction paper. And on this page, I put some quotes that I just really loved about reading. I am particularly fond of the Kafka and the Baldwin co quotes. Um, I'll read those. Uh, the James Baldwin quote is beautiful. He says, you think your pain and your heartbreak are unprecedented in the history of the world, but then you read. That's beautiful. And Kafka's is so passionate, I can't help but love it, even though I, I disagree with it. He says, I think we ought to read only the kind of books that wound or stab us. If the book we're reading doesn't wake us up with a blow to the head, what are we reading for? <laughs> Uh, good times, Kafka. Um, I will eventually fill up these two pages, maybe with um, covers of my favorite reads as I go through the year. Then on this page, I love this, in all the Hobonichis, they have this year at a glance section. So what my plan is, is up here, I'm going to keep track of my stats for YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. As you can see, uh, I have 16 Twitter followers. I don't, I have not been using Twitter really on any sort of regular basis, but I want to change that in 2022. And I don't want it to be the same as what I post on Instagram. I want it to be, uh, you know, two different avenues and two different um, sources of information. Um, so yeah, if you haven't joined me, if you haven't subscribed on YouTube or Instagram or Twitter, come join me and I'll try to make um, each of those platforms um, some place enjoyable to be in 2022. Then down here, I'm going to keep a track of every day that I post a video. You already know why I wasn't posting at the beginning of January, so I won't need to get into that. But hopefully by the end of the year, I'll have this one, you know, year at a glance look and then it'll be lots, lots of highlights with V's next to it, which means I posted a video on that day. And then here we get into the monthlies. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I think this works for me. It, it, it's simple. It's easy to look at if I wanted to see, you know, when did I finish a book and, you know, so on each day I finish a book, I'm putting the title, my star rating, and um, then at the end of the month, I'm going to write down what my favorite book of that month is, and then how many paper books, how many ebooks, and how many audio books. I read that month. And then I'm also going to separate out the genres. That way, when I do my year-end stats, it'll be easy because I'll have already calculated it monthly. And then I want to put a quote of the month over here. Here, I just had a post-it note with my very loose TBR. I'm not good at TBRs because I am an extreme mood reader, but I did read a few of the books I had on my TBR for January, and there's still a week left. So, who knows what that will be like. But anyway, so this is, like I said, the monthly section in the Hobonichi Weeks. And then we go to the weekly sections. So basically, here, let me get to January. Uh, as you can see, all I was reading was War and Peace <laughs> for the last part of December. Uh, so here's where January started. And I'm basically just putting the title if it's audio, Kindle, or paper book, and then I highlight it on the day I finished. And here, I haven't been utilizing these pages very well. I wanna use it for notes, quotes, and fancy words, but I kind of forget to go back to this. 
very often. So uh, yeah, I need to utilize this better. But today is the 24th. Today is Monday the 24th. And then I also have been putting in post-its for when new releases that I'm interested are coming out. So I don't forget those. All right, so after the weekly pages, then is uh, maybe what, what shall we call it? The meat of my book journal where I discuss the books individually. Um, this is just something I, a little, a little whisper I send to my, to my books. I say, tell me something I didn't know. Tell me something I never imagined. Tell me your story. Read me your poem. And this is where I'm going to list all the books I purchased during the year. What format is it? Kindle? Is it audio? Is it paper? And then the date I purchased. And I'm not going to go into these pages in any detail right now because well one I haven't finished um, filling them all out like I haven't really filled out anything for these last few books that I read but uh, so that's how I'm gonna handle the individual books I'm gonna give them each uh, sorry I'm moving the camera but just bumping it um, I'm gonna give each book I read two pages and if I read a hundred or so books I will have plenty of room and then the last part of this book journal is the My 100 page. Again, all the Hobonichis have this, and I'm basically just putting the title and my rating. So I have a quick glance of all, all the books I read in 2022. And that's, that's the whole shebang. Um, let me know in the comments what you think. I know it's quite a difference between this and my Hobonichi cousin that I used last year because the cousin is like twice the size of the Hobonichi Weeks. But I have a feeling I'm gonna be traveling a lot more in 2022 and I wanted something easy, portable to take along with me. And I think this is going to do the trick. Let me know what you do for your book journaling or how you keep track of your books in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed and this is your kind of video, I would love it if you would subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye.